My name is Luke Skippy Harbor. I am a full-time performer and producer. I've been doing that for almost three years now. We're on year three, it's crazy. My hometown is Overland Park, Kansas. Education is a Bachelor of Art in Journalism from Ithaca College. Graduated in 2018. Am I a goofball? Absolutely. Here are the four topics that we're going to be tackling today, folks. My failures and successes as a performer and producer. I'm going to give you direct case studies, numbers, all that stuff of how I've built my career to what it is. So I'm going to hide myself up a little bit. Then, your work as artists. We're going to be doing all kinds of partner discussions, popcorn discussions, group discussions related to your art and your expressions. Then I'm gonna go on a little bit of a platform about long-term thinking and how that is what is going to save the arts for any and all of us. And then last, but certainly not least, we're gonna have a big old questionnaire. Seriously, you can ask me anything. This is the time to do so. In my life, as someone who's failed and succeeded at a lot of different things, there are no stupid questions because sometimes those questions are the exact thing to help you get the answer to propel forward in everything that you're doing. <laughs> Topic one, folks, my failures and successes. Gatekeeping sucks. Here's how I've screwed up and thrived. Success story one of two. Learning strategic marketing during college, when I was your age. The project, this thing that I did, it's a short film in 2016. That photo, yes, that photo is me. When I was a sophomore in college, I was 19, I wanted to make a short film about those versions of the villain where the Jokers met each other. And I wanted to figure out how can we use all the buzz about the Dark Knight in the Christopher Nolan film, also with all of the buzz and marketing going on with the new version of Suicide Squad, right? I had to back up on my own ego, back up on my own artistic idea, and go, how is my project going to be relevant to the trends happening now, but also add to the canon of culture that might already exist for a particular topic? It's time to talk with each other. Who's ready? Anyone? Yeah, yes. You're like, sweet. So, as artists, how can we connect with folks authentically? Exercise number one. You must summarize your art in one word. I'm going around to each and every one of you. I'm snaking it. I want to hear that one word, okay? This is rapid fire. Fiber? Stolen. Stolen? Yeah, bro. Nice. Everything's a remix. Topic number three. All right. Long-term thinking saves the arts. We're all going to die someday. So let's enjoy life while we can. Yes, that is on a slide. <clears throat> Exercise number four, all right? This all makes sense in a sec. Turn to a partner next to you and talk about the first time you were rewarded in some way for your art. You guys want to hear a little beatboxing? Yeah. You guys want to hear from someone like me, do you? You do? Yeah. All right, well, I guess I'll give you the spiel. Uh, so, I have actually been beatboxing now for 19 years. And that's honestly the way I get paid the most as a performer now. It's the way I try to add to the canon of performance in my skill set. Thank you all so freaking much means the world to me. Now, I get that was wild. I get that was crazy what I just did. But, as you've been thinking about your mediums, as you've been talking about your artistic history, each and every one of you has your own unique and individual voice within the industry that you're practicing. I cannot encourage that enough. Because this is the question and answer section for moi, what I do, anything that I've said today, I am accessible to all of you. My goal is truly to be here to break gatekeeping culture, break down any taboos or things that you're going. I want to be a friendly face as you continue your journeys. Whether that means it becomes a hobby 
It becomes your part-time work or it becomes your full-time work. You're artists. You should be celebrated at whatever scale you see yourself in. And then last but certainly not least, a little bit of words of wisdom. I have not revealed this yet. I always keep it for the end of every presentation that I do. I beatboxed earlier. That's an identity, right? I did a little bit of uh, teaching. That's an identity, right? An educator. What you probably can't tell is that when I was 11 months old, I received a life-saving liver transplant. So based on my personality today, as you probably guessed, everything that I'm part of is a second chance. And when I was younger, I think I had a lot of toxic optimism. I was that kid in high school who was always saying, no, everything's great, everything's okay, everything's great, without acknowledging any of the ruts and the problems. And now as I continue to have good health, as I start to do well in what I'm doing, I just encourage each and every one of you to think about art as your opportunity to help people feel a little bit less alone in the world. Because as we keep combating technology and all that, it's gonna probably get a little harder. But we can make it easier together. Thank you. That's my time.